FTP's head party headquarters. That was the place to be if you wanted a good time because they really are celebrating. Now, this is mainly because over the last few weeks of the campaign, Guido Vestabella, the party leader, has toned down his strong rhetoric. He has been a bit of a horrific figure for many people in Germany because they fear he's too neoliberal. Now he's shown a softer side over the last few weeks because he said no social solidarity, solidarity is important. However, it's hard to see how the figures add up because if he's won such drastic tax cuts, that will certainly mean a slimmer state and will certainly mean in some way, shape or form cuts in welfare benefits, most likely in pensions with the raising of the age of pensions. So people are really asking the question, it's, all very, it's very, very nice to hear about tax cuts and a lot of German taxpayers will be very happy about that, but how will the government be able to afford that? That's the real question now. Now, meanwhile, of course, Angela Merkel, I mean, she was the star of the night. It was her triumph. And ironically, she came in on a very bland confidence uh, logo, but it seemed that she did inspire confidence. She proved to be the kingmaker or certainly survived on as queen. How does she do it? What's her secret? Well, I think her very reticent, non-charismatic style appeals to German voters. A lot of people here are quite wary of politicians who appear too slick or too flash. Gerhard Schröder, the... Uh, Chancellor before Angela Merkel was certainly viewed as that. He was a charismatic speaker, very good on the stage, but people felt uneasy with him. With Merkel, I think a lot of people here feel that she is authentic. She's a little bit gauche, she's not the best speaker, but people feel she's honest and that goes down well here. So I think her personality ratings have stayed on top. However, that probably won't remain the case. She has pledged economic reforms. Certainly uh, the businesses who support her are going to keep, uh, want her to keep her promise on that. This will mean that she might now be sort of have to put her money where her mouth is. Up till now she could blame her social democrat partners for a rather cautious approach to economic reforms. Now she has no such excuse. These economic reforms won't be popular with a lot of people. They're going to be painful. So if she does push through on that, I think we can safely see that there's going to be a drop in her popularity ratings. Again, just in a couple of words, David, I think you've sort of alluded to it already, but in, she will have to toe the line. There'll be serious compromises needed within this new partnership, won't there? That's right, because it re what we're going to see over the next few years now is the emphasis on getting the economy in order. On the one hand, sorting out the budget deficit. On the other hand, though, um, it's a centre-right government which has pledged tax cuts. It's pledged easing on corporate tax to make business easier. It's also pledged it will reduce the rules which restrict business. Uh, now, it's going to have to it's going to have to live up to its word on this and this is going to be difficult because there's going to be a lot of people who don't agree after all almost half the country did not vote in this center-right government so i think we're going to see a real conflict over the next few years here in germany